guys, I think I am actually in love. This bike I've now had for three weeks tomorrow, I think. And oh my god. I think I love this bike. I really do think I love this bike. It's absolutely bloody wicked. It's everything I could have wanted and more, if I'm honest. It really is a pucker bike. I really do <laughs> fucking love this bike. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I have no complaints on my side. Well, I, the only complaint that I have is, is the mirrors. I can't see jack shit out of them. I have to keep moving my arms. I don't know if you can see in the mirrors. All you can see is my shoulder and my, sh my elbow. So I can't really see a drastic lot out of them. But apart from that, uh, I think it's the fact that I'm not having a bike for a while. Kinda, well, you, the, having a working bike, shall we say, you kind of miss having the easy life on it. Because uh, people that didn't know when I first, well, well when Alexia, after she had her last crash, I uh, had to manual warm up the bike, which meant holding the throttle on. Uh, Four and a half thousand revs for approximately about five minutes every morning, every night, every single trip. And I'd have to manually keep her idling on my own. So when I was at traffic lights, I'd have to keep giving the throttle a little bit. And in the mornings, it's like, oh, it used to be such a pain in the ass. I used, to, I used to still love getting out on her. Every single weekend I'd still go out on her, I'd still go for rides. I'd even get up early mornings and go for rides with friends still. But oh, it, it used to bug me a lot and it, it, used to be a, it used to be a put off towards my bike. It really did because, you know, Alexia, she looked great, she sounded great and everything was coming along. And then obviously, I still haven't found out to this day what actually was the matter with her. She's still in the gar it's still in my garage, rotting. But um, I'm gonna try one last thing, and uh, hopefully I'll be I'll hopefully I'll be able to get a video this weekend of the actual bike, and I'll be able to show you what what state she's actually in at the moment. But it's nothing too great. <coughs> but there's not a lot really you can do. But uh, apart from that, this bike is just great. I love the fact of getting up and just turning the key, electric start. But when bike start, it warms up itself. I can get on it and it will be ready for me. It's just, oh, it's so easy. It's absolutely lovely. I love, love the feeling of this bike. It did take a little while to get used to this whole leaning over position. It was a bit weird for me at first because obviously I was so used to commuting with the bars up here. Straight back, you know, nice relaxed position shall we say. But over the past couple of weeks I've kind of got used to this position now and it just naturally feels like your normal position. It feels quite nice. So it doesn't really actually bother me that much anymore. But to think I'm in love with this bike, <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll uh, be able to get a video for you guys at the weekend of uh, obviously might not go up on the weekend um, of the state that Alexia is actually in, and you can guys can see for yourself what it's actually like and how far she's actually come. But uh, that's really it now, guys. I shall see you guys later on.